Hello friends, myself Neeti Chauhan, Assistant Professor at Aisha Institute of Engineering and Technology, Department of Instrumentation and Control. Our subject is Distributed Control System and CADA. Chapter 3 Software Configuration We know that software is divided in two parts. Number 1 System Software or Computer System Software and another part that is the application software or process control software. So in last lecture, I have completed topic system software, right? And uh, in today's session, I start application software topic. Here, schematic diagram of application software is shown here, right? You need process field control station, operators, station, right? All for, all stations are available here, right? Here, complex batch process. In unit process, data sent to the field control station. And here, we can send data in bidirectional, right? So, in unit process, data sent to the field control station. Here, from data buffer, you can see in diagram, data buffer sent to the signals in sequence table and function module. Sequence table for logic and function module for data transferring. Right? Then after, from field operators station, data sent to the another section that is the operators station, right? And in operators station, you can see data load, data loaded here, right? So, uh, data sent to, here you can see data load, then data sent to the process data file and for batch repo. In this section, main machine interface, right? Then, uh, Process, process, processing, uh, plant management and file management, right? All functions completed here. Then after data sent to the another section, right? So this is a block diagram of application software, right? Application software, that means one particular application. Here we are doing programming for particular application, right? In sequential table, table number and rule number, right? Then symbol and step number, okay? On vertical section, there are lines and on horizontal section, there are row, okay? You can see here, in each block, Conditional signal and action signals are available here. So, in conditional signal and in action signal, 32 lines. 32 lines available for conditional. 32 lines are available for condition signal and action signal. Right? 32 lines are available for condition signal and action signal. Okay. So, you can see this is a block diagram of sequential table. Right. We have a used sequential table in earlier diagram. You can see here sequence, sequence table shown, shown in block diagram of application software. Right. So, here we have a studied sequential table in detail here, right? Row are available at horizontal side and lines are available at vertical side, right? And 32 lines available for condition signal and for action signal, right? Next, here one application is shown, okay? You can see this is an example of cooling process, right? And ID diagram to explain cooling process, right? 
when i press push button then start process okay so here first of first wall 1 wall 2 and wall 3 so first wall for starting process right for fill up water okay and for pulling we are using this wall right and for next process we are using wall 3 this is a high limit okay when uh, fill up water at that time this switch is on right when for outlet process at that time this switch is on right for no limit okay so see flow chart of pulling process right so in application software we are uh, doing programming for particular application at that time we are using flow chart right for explanation process right so this is a sequential flow chart first start push button right then push button on if tank is empty okay so tank is empty then close the discharge valve right and open the injection valve okay when tank is empty at that time open valve 1 right and close valve 3 so uh, is tank full right so at that time close the valve 1 and open the cooling valve right when tank is full then after we have to close valve 1 and open the valve 2 right has the liquid be cool down right then after close the cooling valve and open the discharge valve right if no then do again process right when when uh, here if tank is full right then we are doing next process if tank is not full then again do the process right so is tank empty then close discharge valve and open first valve okay so this is a step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 and step 5 right here a uh, particular condition uh, also explain here right is tank empty at that time l02 switch on okay l02 switch that is a uh, here right mean right and l02 switch for low limit right next so uh, this is a sequential flow chart okay and for particular application we are using this flow chart here you can see features of process control program executive program right so from sensor right input interface monitoring and alarm operator communication data from sensor to data sent to the operators interface right so operators interface to we can also send data for other communication right so operators interface to data sent to the per pertinent plant steady state model optimization routine pertinent plant dynamic model right plant control computation including direct digital control algorithms okay then after then after data sent to the tablet tablet to the data sent to the output interface and data goes to the actuators and we can also take backup right for future extension okay so this is the execution of program right and uh, here you can see timing and priority information also give here okay so uh, how to execute program 
that is the given here right next the executive program okay so graph through here give information about executive program and on x axis we have taken time and on y axis priority for the time critical process task right so priority based here execute the program right first priority second priority and third priority okay so priority based execute program and that is shown in graph the block diagram of executive program that is shown here right then see interrupt processor so interrupt processor for control rule okay then after error control okay so error control by this system at this side interrupt processor so interrupt processor it is a uh, here we are used for control role okay then error control so error control we are using here for uh, controlling purpose right then executive software task scheduler okay data here you can see detected system data sent to the user error routing right so detected system sent to executive software through interrupt processor through error control through send user error routing input output operation send to the input output control right the application uh, program execution right that is uh, given to signal to input output control right how much input output we have taken right uh, they they are used it here then external priority interrupt so external priority interrupt send to the application program execution right then after real time clock so uh, real time clock data send to the application program execution right task scheduler send to the data time allocation for background operations right so this is a block diagram for executive program okay if you have any query then you can ask me thank you for watching video